Hello everybody, this is your boy Drew Jeezy and I am back when well, you guessed it, another Power Ranger Lightning Collection review. Today I am reviewing the two pack Z01 Pink and Mighty Morphin Pink, both are the Catherine edition. Uh, before I start this review, I want to say I know I've been going for a minute, you guys, but I am back once again. You know how everything goes, life in general, work, etc. 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 But nevertheless, I am back to review this Mighty Morphin Lightning Collection 2 pack of the Cat. Catherine from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Noel Power Ranger Zio, Generation 1 Pink, and Mighty Morphin Pink. So as you can see from the box display, it's pretty cool to have both of them on the back with the cat, which is her transformation when she first came into the series. And then on one side, you have the Zio, I mean, not Zio, the Mighty Morphin helmet on one side. As it spins around to the front, you see Zio Ranger 1 Pink and Mighty Morphin Pink. I think it's pretty dope. Of course, the artwork box is always good. It's on the other side. You have the Zeo Ranger 1 pink over there. But you guys know how, how the Lightning Collection has. You know how they do their box artwork. It's always pretty nice. Um, no complaints about it at all. It just matches hand in hand with what they do with the Rangers. But enough about these Rangers. Enough about this box. I mean, you guys, I'm going to take this thing out of the box. And we're going to take a look at the details. All right, you guys, I have taken everything out of the box. And as you can see, this two pack has a lot of accessories, which is kind of cool. But yet and still, they are some of the recycled accessories from Mighty Morphin and from Zeo. You guys know they all have the same power blaster, Zeo blaster, same uh, Zeo lance, uh, whatever you want to call it, Zeo baton. Um, you know, the, everybody had their own unique weapon from Zeo. Then you got Mighty Morphin when she courts the powers from Kimberly. She inherited all the same weapons. But nonetheless, we're going to start off with what I hate the most, which is the hands for the females. You guys know these things are going in a box with the rest of the hands. Just a, basically a poseable hand and a punch hand. Don't really care for them. Don't plan on using them. And then, of course, we have the Zeo Blaster, which I think is uh, pretty eh, it's cool. I'm not going to say it's like, oh, wow. But, I mean, this typical Hasbro, just a Zeo Blaster. No big deal about it, personally. It's just the Zeo Blaster. And of course you have, um, I want to call this, um, let me get it zoomed in if it does it for me. I want to call this the Zeo Baton. That's what I'm going to call it, the Zeo Baton. All the Rangers have one of these. Um, typical hard plastic, not too hard, kind of soft plastic, but just typical um, plastic. Then you have the Catherine head. This is the one... Once she got to Zio, she put her hair in a ponytail. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not gonna say it's show accurate, but it is what it is. I don't plan on using it. It looks like it has a little fade in it as well. It looks like it's not fully painted. It looks a little glossy for some reason. Not glossy, matted. It looks like it's missing paint, so I don't think it's supposed to be that way. And of course you have the lightning effect. Um, it sucks. I'm just going to come out and say it. It sucks. It's, yeah, it sucks. And that's all I'm going to say, that it sucks. And then, of course, last one, you have the Z on one shield. It's okay. I mean, I felt like they didn't do her any justice with her main weapon. It's got the little thing on the back that latch her onto her arm. I'm just really not impressed, personally, with it. Even though I know it's only a $24.99 figure, I'm just not impressed. And then, of course, you know, with Monday Morphin Pink, you got the bow, um, typical gray bow. Like I say, not impressed. Uh, the power bow, like I said, it's recycled the weapons from the other Mighty Morphin and just put them on here. Not impressed by that either. Um, the lightning effect, absolutely is horrible. I can't say what I want to say because I'm trying to keep it, you know, ready PG, but this thing is trash. Um, of course, you got the hands for her as well. Don't plan on using these either. It's just, I don't know, team. It's, I just, I don't know. I just don't, ugh. I feel like you could do so much better even with 2499 price tag. And then you have, you know, Power Blaster. You know how I feel about these. Y'all seen my other reviews, you know how I go. And then, of course, you got the Catherine head with her hair down. Same thing here. It's like the paint is like faded, matted, I guess. Uh, this one look more accurate compared to the other head. As you guys can see, I'm put both of them together. Um, it looks a little bit more better to me. So, yeah. But 
it is what it is. I just, I'm just kind of disappointed. And seeing as though that I've been collecting one six figures, it's just a different type of scale. But nonetheless, that's what you got right here. Then of course you have the cat that she was. This is a cat form uh, when she was spying on the Rangers. So just a typical cat mode. Nothing impressive, nothing to go rah, rah, rah about outside of the green eyes. Other than that, that's it. Um, so these are all the details. I say I'm, I am kind of disappointed in the details of some of these Rangers and the accessories they got, but $24.99, you guys. What else can you do? But that's it for the accessory, guys. So again, we're going to get to, guess what? The Rangers themselves. So you guys stay tuned. All right, guys, as you can see, I have gotten a Rangers out of the box as well, and I have put them together. You guys have seen Mighty Morphin Pink before. Same mold, same figure, nothing's changed. Um, but you have not seen Z01 Ranger Pink. So, before I start this review, I want you to guys know, please, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell for all post notifications. Hit that thumbs up or thumbs down. I greatly appreciate it. It goes a long way in the YouTube algorithms. Also, look out for me on my YouTube. I mean, not YouTube. <laughs> I already said that. My Instagram page, which is UGZ Collectibles. And also my TikTok, UGZ Collectibles. And my, uh, I know I got one with my TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. There you go. Facebook. Look out for me on Facebook. That's UGZ Collectibles as well, you guys. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to talk about Zero Ridge 1 Pink real quick, you guys, as you can see. Um, just from first impressions, I do like it. Um, typical girl mode for the most part. As you can see, you got the white boots with the Zio gold trim here. Do have the double joint here and the legs. Pretty cool for the most part. Um, this is a hard plastic, so be kind of gentle because <laughs> it will pop. Same thing goes here with the double joint here as well. Um, so make sure you pay attention to that as well. Don't bend them too hard. Like I say, this is definitely show accurate. Um, I do have a gripe though. And here it is. My arm does not bend. And when I try to bend it, I don't want to break it because I feel like it's going to break. So I am a little, a little peeved about that because uh, my other one will bend, but the other one doesn't. So it's kind of sucks, especially for posability. But um, with $24.99, what else can you do, right? So you got the holster here for the Zeo Blaster, the holster here for the Zeo Lance. Uh, she had good uh, back and forth motion right here in the chest area. Uh, same thing goes over here. Not, okay, yeah, so. Got a little bit of movement, not a lot, but you got a little bit. Um, it does go up there. It's a little stiff. This is actually my first time opening this figure. So, like, I recommend to all my collectors, man, at least open it up. If you're a collector and you plan on, like, showing them out, putting them in display cases outside of the box, definitely open it up once and kind of break the plastic in. So, then don't tell how long they've been sitting in plastic in the in the box itself. And it could be super stiff as mine is. Um, but, nonetheless, you got the Zero Ranger 1 helmet. Pretty cool. All pink with the oval shape here. The silver trim. You also got the Zio here. Like I say, the figure is it's, it's, it's cool. Like I say, it's $24.99. I'm a collector, so I'm going to get them because I want to complete the whole team, which I did. You should have a skirt here, so they finally got the skirts for the women. But the series I thought was pretty cool. Sorry, let me give you another view of the skirt right there with the gold trim on both sides. Uh, this one has no blemishes, really, no fade marks, which is actually pretty cool for the most part. I thought that was pretty dope. Um, does have 360 motion head because you could take the head off with this big head on there. Um, but when it comes to Zero Ranger 1, pink, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys, for the most part. I'm going to put this back on the turnstile. Uh, oh, she stands. Okay. Oh, she won't stand. Uh, give me one second, guys. I'm just going to put it here for now. And then, of course, we got Mighty Morphin Pink. Give me one second. Okay, hold on guys, this is what how we do live videos. So yeah, gotta get her to stand because she does not want to cooperate. And she still don't. And I should have just left her while I had her. And she still don't cooperate. So yeah, that's the thing about these molds. They're not one six scale, they're a little tricky. And they kinda don't want to stand when you set them up. Okay, I'll just put her there for now. And back to Money Wharf and Pink, as you guys can see. You've seen her several times from Pink Ranger Slayer to um, Money Wharf and Pink to the comic book color pink 
typical one, same, you know, characteristics that other Zero Ranger, Zero Ranger one has, this one has as well. Only gripe I have, I have a lot of gripes, but this one is definitely a peeve of mine, is the belt. I can't turn it, and it is crooked. And that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I can't, yeah, it's, it's just crooked. So, you guys know she has 90 degree elbow and both arms, so both arms do being 90 degrees. Um, you got the double joint and the lean. Yep, like I said, guys, these are a little tricky, so be careful when you're, you know, first flexing them. Because as you guys can see, they are really, really stiff. So, yeah. But, like I say, I wasn't too impressed. Oh, nice shot of the helmet, by the way. I think this helmet sculpture is pretty dope. Pig Ranger did have one of the most unique helmet sculptures, I think, out of all the Rangers. Um, but I did like hers more or less. I thought it was pretty cool. Um... But yeah, be careful, guys, when you are flexing these things as well. Because they're a little tricky and they're really stiff. So, yeah. And like I said, I'm not impressed per se. Only because, like I said, maybe because I'm just a little biased, I've been collecting one six scale Ranger figures. And I'm just not that impressed overall. I'm starting to get the, the, the focus back. There we go. Oh, uh, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, I'm just really not impressed um, with the. The 112 scales on, you know, the six inch figures, I feel like they just, they could do a little bit more. I will say that. Uh, I'm collecting these, of course, because I want to get the whole team. So I do have all of Zeo. So I finally completed two teams. So I completed Mighty Morphin and Zeo, and I have a bunch of other teams that I'm waiting on to come as well. I'm waiting on one figure from one team, maybe two from another, but they're coming slowly but surely. Um, but that's going to be close to the end of this video, you guys, because I don't really have anything else left. My rating for this video, man, it's gonna be one of the lowest ones I did in a long time. And I honestly say, I wanna say I'm gonna do 6.5. It's just a lot of flaws that I don't really care for. The um, the lightning effects are horrible uh, for this two pack. I don't appreciate how they kind of pushed this out and didn't do it any justice any better. The lightning effects for you be a lightning collection should be way better than what they are. I also think like always they should match all the colors to the ranges to make it look good. But yeah, this is 6.5 out of 10. I'm just not that impressed. My my Mighty Morphin Pink belt is crooked. Uh, my Zero Ranger one arm does not bend all the way. It's got like a defect. So I'm just not too thrilled about this. And I'm sorry, you guys, because the energy just sounds like this. And I'm just so disappointed that I paid $49.99 for this two pack. And it's just, it doesn't impress me. And then they're gonna come out with a single pack for Zero Ranger One, and it's like I could wait, but I wanted the whole team. But nonetheless, you guys, this is 6.5 out of 10. Um, I'm gonna come to the end of this video, you guys. I thank you so much for watching this video and this review. I really appreciate you guys who are subscribing to me. I get subscribers every day. I read you guys' comments, whether they're good or bad, right or wrong. I read them all, and I do reply to everybody. Thank you so much to my new subscribers, my current subscribers. Thank you guys for still rocking with me, for strapping with me. Uh, continue to push me because I really appreciate you guys. I'm going to push out more content as fast as I can, as quickly as I can. Uh, but in case you know, when you're a one-man band, you know, you got to do everything on your own. But nonetheless, I enjoyed the journey of this, man. So I really appreciate it. Shout out to all my YouTube inspirations, Tall Guy Car Reviews, Mr. Organic, CJ on 32s, I'm the Hellcat, Life with Corey, all them guys, man. I watch them every day, man, and, and they doing big things you know, on their channels, and I'm trying to get to them one day, and I'll get to their level one day, and go beyond them, and I hope to get to meet them one day, man. So, other than that, you guys, once again, look out for my Facebook page, Jujitsu Collectibles, look out for my Instagram, Jujitsu Collectibles, look out for my TikTok, Jujitsu Collectibles, man. So, that's the end of this video, you guys. Thank you so much for rocking with me. You guys know my slogan, but before I do that, I will give you guys a couple of poses. It's not going to be too many, only because one of my arms don't work, and one of the figures, and it's just like, it's only so much you can do. But once again, here's my slogan. This is your boy, Drew Jeezy. Competition is always easy. You guys be safe. You guys be blessed. Until next time, you guys, I am out.